Hello and welcome to the Gamer Scene, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Connor, and as it's Monday, you would normally expecting a weekly gaming update. Well, from now on, there will be no weekly gaming updates as a whole on Monday, but instead I'm going to be breaking it down into two individual sections. Now, the first section will be posted on a Monday, and that will be the game releases for this week. And then later on this week, possibly on a Thursday, but I've yet to confirm that, I'm probably going to go and doubt about doing the news for the previous week. Because I want to split it down a bit so I can get a bit more detail into each part. And, you know, get you guys a bit more of a better coverage as opposed to, uh, you know, just your general quick read through as I tend to do normally. So, as it's Monday, this is going to be the game releases for this week. So, what, what better than just kick off straight away with Tuesday. And, well, Tuesday brings NHL 13 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Ice hockey game number tw year for the 2013 featuring all new improved AI to improve your hockey experiences. The rating system they've changed on it. And, for the first time... Just a little bit of history here. They're going to put two real women players in the game. You can create your own women players as usual, but this time the game is going to have two genuine women in it. Great move, I have to say, because I've always wanted to see more women's sports in games. And I really hope the games like FIFA take note and put it in. But for now, it's NHL taking the lead, and so well done to them. Also up on Tuesday is Tekken Tag Tournament 2 for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360. Bit of a tongue twister there. And this features your standard Tekken side-on button mashing gameplay with a bit of tag team in there. So you can switch out and let your player that's let the fighter that's out of combat rest up a bit and then you can spin him in when you need to when you tag him and there's all sorts of um, you know little features to really enhance the tag but basically it's the same as Tekken just with a little bit of a tag battle in there also coming up is Double Dragon Neon coming up on uh, PS3 and well that that brings back an old game called Double Dragon and uh, it's an old sort of series and in it the game itself is a side-scrolling beat-em-up featuring two guys, the Double Dragons, called Bill Jimmy and Billy. And basically, you just beat everything up, and the enemies get harder and harder, and you go through the levels. Um, it's, you know, I'd say it looks like a pretty standard beat-em-up, but the colours and the art style make it quite an interesting little game. So, you know, you may have played it in the past, and you may just want to, you know, get back into a little bit of history, but it's back out, Double Dragon, back out. Also coming out is Anomaly Warzone Earth, a PlayStation 3 in North America. I think this has come out in everywhere so far, apart from PlayStation 3, North America, which it comes out on Tuesday. If you don't know what Anomaly Warzone Earth is, well, it's Tower Offense. Now, Tower Offense, you've probably heard of Tower Defense. This time, you play as the little creatures you normally set up towers to destroy, um... It's set in the near future with like aliens and that sort of theme to it. And basically you can set paths to your troops for your troops to try and get past the towers. Use power-ups to enhance your soldiers and all of that. And it kind of switches the roles around and gives it an, and the settings quite nice. So that looks like a quite an interesting game. Also up on Tuesday for Xbox 360, NBA Baller Beats. Now, this is a basketball dribbling rhythm game. I'm not really gonna say much else of this because you know, the best, I think the, one of the main selling points of this game is the intrigue of what, how a basketball dribbling game with rhythm works. So, I'm just going to leave that. If you sound, sound like it could be interesting, you like a bit of rhythm, you like a bit of, uh, you know, a bit of uh, basketball, then by all means, check it out. But I can imagine a lot of you won't be finding it that fantastic. It's the same with the next game, which is Finding Nemo Special Edition, coming out on the 3DS and the Nintendo DS. Um... Which is basically a group of mini games involving most of the characters from ne um, Finding Nemo, like Marlon, um, you know, the sharks, all that, and Nemo himself. And it's just a collection of mini games, probably aimed at your younger audience. So, but if there are any of you younger kids out there listening, then this might give you the game for you. If you fancy a bit of Finding Nemo and you like to play with your fishes, by all means, go out and get it, because I can't tell you how it will be and you may well like it now we move on to a DLC for the Tuesday and Tuesday we see Transformers Fall of Cybertron the Dinobot Destructor pack for PlayStation 3 Xbox 360 and PC which which includes in this pack it adds the Dinobots to multiplayer now I'm not an expert on Transformers but I believe there are four not totally sure um, You'll have to ask some of my other more experienced colleagues on the matter. Um, but it adds these Dinobots that you can play in multiplayer. And it also me also adds the 
feature of being able to add certain Dinobot parts to your own custom transformer. Because in multiplayer you can make your own custom transformer, and so with this you can add certain mo uh, uh, what the Dinobot features to your character to make him a bit more like in the style you want in such. Also out for DLC is Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Future Soldier. Raven Strike for PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360, which features three new campaign maps and one new guerrilla map. All of them are playable with four players, so if you want to have a bit more multiplayer, four player way action on your Tom Clancy Ghost Rick or Future Soldier um, for PlayStation and Xbox 360, then by all means be my guest. I can't tell you it won't be bad. I want to have a look at Tom Clancy Ghost Rick or Future Soldier, and if I have to say that one more time, I might well kill myself. But it looks like a fantastic game. It looks like quite an interesting game, so I want to take a look. And finally up for Tuesday, Quantum Conundrum Icarumba for PlayStation 3. It was released by Peace for PC last week. And in case you didn't get what it was then, Icarumba adds a few new rooms to the mansion. If you've never played Quantum Conundrum, it's a similar idea to Portal, where you have puzzles and in, in, you use different dimensions to solve these puzzles, like the heavy dimension, the light dimension, the fluffy dimension, you know, the slow down time dimension, all these just to solve different puzzles, you know, and all that. So it's quite a fun game. I've, you know, I've had many recommendations for it, so make sure you take a look. Um, and that's all I can say. Moving on to Wednesday, well, Double Dragon Neon that I mentioned for PlayStation 3 for Tuesday comes out on Xbox 360 on Wednesday. Day late, don't know why. Also on I also on Xbox 360 getting a bit late. Uh, Quantum Conundrum Icarumba, the DLC for Quantum Conundrum comes out also on Wednesday. And finally for Wednesday, Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Future Soldier Arctic Pack. I've had to say it again. Comes out on PC. And this contains a new con con conquest mode map called Tomsk 9, as well as six new weapon variants, three new headgear variants, and two new body armor variants. Plenty of features there to keep your Tom Clancy Ghost Recon Future Soldier experience um, fresh, and I really, really don't have to say that again because I think that's all for this, for all Tom Clancy for this week. So, and that's all of Wednesday done. So let's kick on with Thursday. Thursday sees Secret Files Free come out for PC, a point-and-click adventure where you guide Max and Nina on their adventure to solve many puzzles to get, I believe, Max out of trouble because he's in prison on terrorism charges. You may have heard of these because it's quite a you know, quite a prominent point and click series. If not, then it's a point and click series. And um, if you like that sort of game, then this is definitely one to check out. The puzzles and it, it sells quite well. It's quite a fan favourite. So definitely have a look. Also comes that coming out is Bookstore Dream on the Nintendo DS, where if you've always, always, always wanted to manage your own bookstore, this is the game for you. Now I don't know how many of you out there have this dream. In fact, I don't know if anybody out there has this dream. But if you do. This is the game for you, so make sure you check it out. And that's all for first day. Moving on to Friday. Well, I misannounced this as coming out on the 28th of August. It comes out on the 14th of September. This Friday. It's called Trist. It's a PC game, and it's a fut near future. It's a futuristic um, alien versus human RTS, which has. I did a preview on this, and I'm going to do a proper full re review on this a little bit later. And it features. Um, you know, really good AI. It's an RTS game, a bit like StarCraft. Somebody gave me the comparison. It's like StarCraft, very similar. Um, and so that's the type of game. So if you want an RTS, but you're not quite sure, I will say that if you want a game that's quite accessible as an RTS, as opposed to StarCraft being all really hardcore, Trist is the game for you, so make sure you check it out. That's all for Friday. Come And finally, on Sunday, Kirby 20th Edition. 20th Anniversary Collection, also known as the Dream Collection, comes out on the Nintendo Wii, and that contains Kirby Dream, Kirby's Dreamland, Kirby's Adventure, Kirby's Dreamland 2, Kirby's Superstar, Kirby's Dreamland 3, and Kirby 64: The Crystal Shard. So, if you really want to have a bit more fun with your pink round ball of fun and death, then by all means get it for the Wii because that is coming out this Sunday, and that's all that's coming out now. You might want to know what little tips I can advise you to get. NHL 13 looks really good, like it could be fun. Um, and maybe Double Dragon Neon if you like a bit of, um, you know, like a bit of beat 'em up side scrolling. I can't say the animation or that will be fantastic, or it'll be the most fun you've been ever played. Trist is also a very interesting game, and Anomaly Warzone Earth. That type of era appeals to me greatly, and if it does to you, that may well be fun. But what about last week? What should you have enjoyed last week that you might enjoy? You know, what about Mark of the Ninja? I said last week that there were no games being released that were any good. Turns out Mark of the Ninja is good. It's a side-scrolling stealth game for the Xbox 360, and I have to say it looks like 
like a lot, a lot of fun. Lots of people have been really like loving this game. So, you know, you may love it too. And well, what can I say? So, I can only advise that you get it if you've got Xbox. I believe it's a live arcade game. I can't remember the price right at this moment, but I'm reassured by several, several people, in fact, a lot of people, that this game is very good, so make sure you get it. That's all the games for this week. That's all the games for this week. Um, you can look forward to the news later in this week. I hope you enjoyed this more relaxed, in-depth talking about the games. Um, this will be, hopefully, how it is every week. Um, but what are you planning to get this week? That's what I really need to ask. Put in the comments below. What are you planning to buy this week? Or what are you really looking forward to that's coming up in the near future? I've got plenty of games on my list I can't wait to play. As well as plenty of games that I still need to play. Um, but, you know, what games do you want to see? What games are you waiting for? Um please put it in the comments below and make sure you visit thegamerscene.com for all many many fantastic articles and well that's gonna say that's that's all I've got for you today ladies and gentlemen so I'm afraid that's gonna have to be me Connor out